you, it's Friday! Welcome to another edition of FYIF, where I play some of the games that I've missed over the past decade or so, which is basically all of them. Uh, we're on to part 21 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I am the voice of the Institute, Larissa, and tonight I'm joined by the man behind the curtain, Mark. How are you doing? Fuck yeah, it's Friday! <laughs> Let's <Yeah>. do it! <laughs> That's, this sounds like you're about ready to, I don't know, say that it's Friday and it's going to be a great day. <laughs> wow, you got it bang on. That's exactly yep. what that was about. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so uh, what happened last time was... Um, Rissa, I never know. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain it. So um, we were trying to uh, help our friend Sirius, who is uh, a contender for the new lordship of the Skellige Isles. and Not to be confused uh, with Siri. Yeah, not to be confused with Siri, even though they're pretty similar in terms of sass level. But um, in order to help Sirius, we had to uh, throw a baby in an oven because we had to be No, no, no expl explanations necessary. That makes perfect <laughs> sense. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, it's just a logical progression. But yeah, we had to trick this demon into thinking that we had done some indescribably awful act. So we were we were tricked into throwing a baby in an oven, and I did it, and I still feel guilty. It's been a week, and I still feel guilty. So. I mean, it got me. I thought for certain they burned a baby, so <laughs> or you burned a baby. I don't want any part of that. So yeah. Yeah. It all worked out though. It all worked out. Baby's alive. It's fine. We killed the thing. It's great. Uh, but this time we're gonna get back to the main quest, and we're gonna uh, find Siri. So we know she's probably. There, at least there's another clue on Skellige, so we're gonna keep searching for that. And use some better armor and a better haircut, like first. Oh no, no, I like she my haircut. She from another world together with a mass mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Siri too might have returned to Skellige. And some random minion says, I'm finally back after missing a kajillion hey, streams. Man. Welcome back, some random minion. We missed you. Um, I can't also, believe it's been a kajillion streams already. Nay. Whoa. Do you see this? What? Oh. <laughs> Roach, you magical bastard. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 wait. Oh Hold on. Don't do anything. Like, I got something for this. Wait, wait, wait. His leg's all fucked up. Larissa, don't do anything. I swear to God, don't ruin this for me. Oh my God, this looks painful. Roach, you poor bastard. Just give me 10 seconds. Foreigner, watch your step. Okay, well, 10 seconds is an awful long time, man. Uh, I can't find it. Okay, God damn it. This, this, this is scary is what this is. Yippee! I Yippee! I Ghost Riders in the scope. All right, uh. we fixed it. Roach is fine. His legs do not seem to be broken. I think he was just temporarily possessed. We'll stick it's fine now. It'll all work out. Cause they've got to ride forever on that rain in the sky on uh, horses. What is this from? from the song Spiders in the Sky. What is that? It's a song called Ghost Riders in the Sky by Johnny Cash. It's about some flying horses. <laughs> okay. It was the perfect joke. You just didn't get it. That's fine. Whoa, yeah, well, rich. I mean, does that really surprise you? You've never seen Blues Brothers 2000? You know that I've never seen Blues Brothers, so... I mean, that's good. Blues Brothers 2000 stocks, but... Ghost Riders in the Sky. This day on, my home is your home. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. In the sky. Got a ghost ride in the sky. My little white line keeps changing its mind. Like, now it's telling me to go the other way. I'm very confused. I right, said so you can delete your cocaine later, right? Now we gotta play The Witcher. Oh, that way. Okay, I get it. Oh boy. That's very far away. 
Look at all of these like question joke? marks. It's a lot. Take it easy. Okay. We'll uh, it, get a boat. That's what we'll do. Even though I got on my floating horse for nothing. So are you a fan of Johnny Cash? Uh, no. <laughs> Some of his songs, sure. I just like that song in particular because it was in Blues Brothers and also it's cool and your horse was flying so it seemed like the type of thing to say. Okay. I mean, there's precious few flying horse songs but that seemed like the go-to. You know what? If you know it, it seems appropriate. Was it just too on the nose? Do you think the obvious flying horse joke or what? Well, I mean, it was still an obscure piece of music, as far as I am aware, so... Obscure? Oh my god, no it's not. I've never heard of this. Yeah, but you haven't heard a lot. Uh, hmm. Okay, now... Now I'm reversing. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Beep. Wide load! How does wind work? Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. It kind of just works the way I want it to. Wait, wait, wait. We can see which way the wind is going based on the snow. So what the fuck? How does any of this get explained? I don't know, but now my sails are filling the opposite direction so I can back up. <laughs> and then as soon as I press forward, they fill up the front ways again. I don't know why I bother went going to sailing school for like seven years. What did I... Like, apparently it's all pointless. You can just drive yeah, it like a motorboat. Yeah, I mean, like, clearly you didn't learn it right. Ah, <sighs> all that work for nothing. Yeah. Well, at least you had some experiences on the Glenmore Reservoir. That's right, look out! Harpies! Yeah, I see them. I'm just gonna outrun them. They can't get me. Why not? Oh! There's a whale! Ugh, I've yet to see a whale in real life, and I live on the west coast of British Columbia. You'd think that I'd have found one by now. Like what, just like driving down the street one day, or at well, sea? Well, out on sea. Like, oh, okay. sometimes I'll go out onto the ocean, and I've yet to see uh -huh. a whale. I've seen a whale. What? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, they're not that great. It's just a big fish. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Like, you're not missing much. It's a... It's a... Not a fish, though. Oh, whatever. It's a mammal. Okay, it looks like a fish. So, it's a big mammal, then. Like, uh, that doesn't change anything. It's not like I'm suddenly impressed that it's a big mammal. Whales are bullshit. Sounds, That's my point. Sounds like you're bitter to me, actually. Well, yeah, a little. Well, my game is super buggy today. Like, now that <laughs> whale's just doing a handstand. Bye. Or a handstand. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I mean, it did just update today, so stuff's probably broken. Okay. Also, some random minion asks, Mark, did you really go to sailing school, or was that just a joke? Uh, no. I would never joke about sailing school. I got my Silver 7, I think it's called, or White Sail 7 certification thing. I think it's Silver 6. Something's, I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up. Give Your story second. keeps changing. Well, I don't know what the levels are. Hmm. I know that my very first level of swimming was called Starfish Level. That's not a real level. Yeah, it was. I made it That's up to Bronze learned. Medallion, motherfucker. Oh, wow. There's no Starfish Level. Yes, there is when you're learning how to swim. Like when you're five. Oh, uh, well, I... That's probably not an official certification. It was, like too. My community center swimming pool had a little piece of paper. That doesn't sound official. Unlike my gold seven sailing certificate, which is what uh, I got. Your story is still changing. I didn't know what seven was called. It went white sail, bronze, silver, and then I guess gold. But I didn't know that seven was gold. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Now I'm going to look up swimming lessons and prove you wrong. Again. It's a starfish level. Alrighty, let's see here.
Uh, shit. I don't know. I'm gonna look this up though, because this is. <laughs> this is truly the most important thing right now. I mean, we yeah, are just like on? sailing on open ocean. And my boat's my boat's broken. My boat's broken. Your boat's broken. My boat's broken. What's wrong with your broken boat? It's broken. See, there's a giant hole in it. I, I mean, I know you broke it last stream. You always break your boats. Yeah. Oh, there's a thing over here. Let's go investigate that. Cause I need something to do. I can't find the levels. I can only, like. I only know that bronze medallion and bronze something else exist. Like this one's literally called Swimmer One. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, that sounds fake. Oh my god, you might be right. Yeah, of course I'm right. Oh no! Bitch. Do you want to know what the levels are called? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first level is called Starfish. Can you See, guess what the I second level is called? I told you. Like, wait, minnow wait, wait, or guppy or something. How old were you when you went to Starfish level swimming? I think it was five. Years? Yeah. Okay. Typically, Starfish is given to... Uh, that can't be right. I mean, I had swim, like, gone swimming before, but I didn't get my certification. Okay. Uh, according to the Red Cross Swim Preschool website, uh, Starfish is for babies aged 4 to 12 months. So you're a little, mm. you're a little behind. Um, mm. The next level was Duck, which was 12 to 24 months. And then Sea Turtle, 24 to 36 months. And then Red Cross Swim Preschool Sea Otter which is three to five years, then salamander, sunfish, crocodile, and whale. Well, see, I told you. So how far did you get? Uh, I don't know. What's the one that involves doing the corkscrew? I don't think it'll say. Hmm. I don't know, but I learned how to do, like, you're supposed to swim in the water like a corkscrew, so one backstroke, one front stroke, back that and forth. stupid. So that you're spinning. Why would you ever want to do that? Because it's so you can, style. You can fly out of the water. You can propel yourself like a corkscrew. Yeah, it's the style points. Can't ignore the cool factor. <sighs> yeah, you can. I've been ignoring the cool factor all my life. And it explains so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um. By the way, my broat's spoken again. Broat's. Wait, your broat is. Bo I can't keep track of this joke. Your broat's <laughs> spoken. Okay. Yeah. See, now I got two holes in it. As I'm a jackass. See, you didn't pay attention to boat safety lesson one, which is don't fuck up the boat because they're expensive. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to it because it's a dumb rule. Uh, no, it's not. Also, is that sea wreckage treasure, perhaps? It is. Ha! Ah. Sea monsters. How come there's no sharks? It's too cold for them. Sharks can exist in cold waters. You can exist in cold waters. Uh, yes, maybe. Not for long, though. Not as long as a shark could. I'm dreadfully over encumbered, but I don't care. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Already? I thought we solved this problem last time. Barely. Did you put everything you owned inside us. In Not everything. A oh my god. <laughs> all of this stuff is for selling. I know. All my flowers are taking on water. No, my. The flowers don't weigh anything. It's all the swords. Oh, and boots. okay. Boots. You're like Some... taping swords to your feet and using them as flippers, but that's not working. <laughs> Seems efficient to me. I don't know what you're complaining about. Speaking of complaining, Sim Karras asks, how do you guys feel about Henry Cavill playing Geralt in the upcoming Netflix show? Larry, you got some opinions on this that I have yet to hear in public. Yeah, I've yet to actually finish forming them. That's the problem. It's like... How long has it been? You've had like a week and a half. I know. I don't know. It's just my initial response 
from that screen test where he like steps into the light and drinks that potion was, oh, he looks like a puppy, which is not what I want to be associating with Geralt. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's it's a little too early to be judging because like it's just a screen test. But I don't know. It's not what I pictured. He's, he's supposed to be like a younger version of Geralt, right? Because it's based on the books or something? Yeah, that's what I've heard is this is like a four series grown up. Okay, well, it's not doing much for me. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm hesitant to say that I'm going to like it, but I could. So, I don't know. It's too early to say. I, I don't like, um, casting like big actors in these types of roles you know because it's, it's just superman in a wig to me like it, it's <laughs> i don't buy it well i mean daniel radcliffe has daniel radcliffe has worked really hard at breaking out of that you know that typecast presentation of him not he hard enough for me i see daniel radcliffe it's harry potter get fucked uh well i i've seen quite a few movies with daniel radcliffe not as harry potter and he does great. Well, all I know is that if they had cast Daniel Radcliffe as Geralt, I would have been like, yeah, he just looks like Harry Potter in a wig. Same problem. Uh, you know what? I think you would have had that problem with basically everyone. Yeah, anyone I recognize. Like, I like Game of Thrones so much because I hadn't heard of any of the actors. They went with mostly unknowns. I would not say that Ian Glenn is unknown. Really? I never heard of him. Yeah, he's in a bunch of movies. The one I recognize him most from, though, I kid you not, is Tomb Raider. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Like the Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider. Yeah, uh, god damn it. He was the antagonist in that one. He wasn't in, what is it, Spy Next Door, too, was he? No. This is a cool place for a harbor. It is. It really is. I like it. See, there's a chest over here so I can drop off any of the shit that I can't sell. No, See? just sell it all! Yeah, but uh, I need to find a place to sell it first. That's a problem. Okay. You know you can't just park wherever you want, right? You got a radio in. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's no radios. All right. Well, get a haircut then. Jesus. No. And I can't run. Haha. <laughs> so I have to walk through all of this. No, it's fine. It's more immersive this way. That's true. Let me hold you, sorry. Uh, no. There's gotta be somewhere I can sell my shit, right? Probably. Yeah, it's all the way over there. Uh -huh. There's armor over there. Ooh, do that. It's gonna be a long walk. Yeah. Don't eat so much. Knock. Why the spit not? Because if you get hit in the gut Don't and those hairs get tangled that. in your entrails, there'll be no hope for you. Falmer's right. Shouldn't eat or drink too much uh, for Now I don't know where I'm going. Haha. <laughs> yeah. What a surprise, right? After who? Yeah, find out when you get there. Yeah. You see the white haired fellow. Some random minion she says Cavill was great in the man from Uncle Lowe. Yes, he was. That movie was awesome. I haven't actually seen it yet. <laughs> it's been on my list. I've been meaning to watch it. I just haven't. Is that an island? Remember when you came to Calgary uh, last April? I like brought out like what was it, twenty movies I thought you should see, and you hadn't seen any of them. Can you swing an axe? Man from yeah. was in there. That's all I'm saying. Hey, what, what's your point? Did you say that? Uh, head of a giant. That I'm a shitty person know. who has no, no culture. No. I already know. No, that. no, Larry, you're too hard on yourself. I, I mean, there's a difference between being hard on yourself and being honest. Oops. I think you're being too hard on yourself. But you should watch more hey. movies. Oh, I, I know I should. Yeah. And uh, Man From U.N.C.L.E. should be in there, too. It is. It's on my list. Uh, I'm going to talk to some random minion. I'm not you for just a second. Remember that part where he's eating the sandwich in the car with the boat in the background? That was great. And then you'll understand what that means as soon as you see that movie, because it's awesome. I see what you're trying to do here. I'm trying to create this air of exclusivity so that I'll, I'll feel, you know, compelled to watch it. 
not in order to be a part of the conversation. If he I see what you're the doing. Truth, yeah, I mean, if that's what happens, then that's, uh, that's fine. And if that ladder his crosses my path, at least you got to see uh, the nice guys. Respect, Witcher. Remember that movie? Yeah, I like that movie. Good, because it was awesome. Did I go the wrong way? What's this lever do? <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Did I, I go the wrong did way? Anything. What's this lever do? <laughs> Story of my life. That that encapsulates it perfectly because it's like within a half second of uh, realizing you've gone the wrong way, you're already doing something else. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this pace is painful. Want to run? Yeah. Some random minion agreed that the sandwich scene was awesome. But Rissa, what did you think of the sandwich scene? Oh, oh wait, no, that's right. Ha ha ha! Laugh it up, buddy. Doesn't done and done. Doesn't bother me at all. Okay, good. Not at all. It's really I did use laugh track in chat there for you. Oh, thank you. Some random many Rondo wants to know if it was surreal seeing Keith David in a live action role. No, it was not because I have seen They Live and The Thing. So goodbye. Keith David. I don't have a face with that name. That's why the Uh Captain Anderson from Mass Effect. That caught a turn. Oh. Really great voice. Wow. Well. He's been in a lot of movies. Guess he's a busy man. Yeah. The storm, damn it. How's your, <laughs> how's your nice contemplative whack going? Oh, it's just peachy. <laughs> you know you're streaming, right? We might want to yeah. pick it up here a bit. Yeah, I, I'm doing the best that I can, okay? Okay, I don't doubt that. Sounds like you do. That's partly why it's so sad. Yeah. Oh shit! Keith David was the voice of Goliath and Gargoyles. Did you ever see Gargoyles? Uh, what do you think the answer to that is? Ah, uh, no, you never saw Gar. Okay, Gargoyles was this animated kid show from the '90s, or year, I think. It was fucking cool. Some of these gargoyles who lived on top of the skyscraper, and every night they'd come alive and do shit. Um, the bad guy was voiced by Commander Riker. Jonathan Frakes? The very same. Um, what he did, Jonathan Frakes, uh, his character was so rich that he bought a castle and he had it transported on top of a skyscraper in like New York or something. Weird. Yeah, it was fucking sweet. See, and then here I am on my third rewatch of Avatar. Yeah, I mean, no, like, my second rewatch. Avatar is great, but you need to expand your horizons, man. Yeah, I'll get to it. Just after I finish I this rewatch. When I say Avatar, I mean like The Last Airbender, not the James Cameron film. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify <laughs> that. I drank last night, too. I think I know where I'm going, but I could very well be in the wrong spot. Okay, no rush. I mean, I would like to get something done at this it's stream today, but... Say. We are 20 minutes in. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, I want to do shit. Okay, I'm like almost there. But it's not through here. Oh, damn. This is our most difficult quest yet. Yeah, Getting apparently. It's true what they say. No cure for trouble like a witcher. I'm I'm gonna get there, I promise. Okay. Respect, Witcher. See, like there I am. There it is. Yay. Yeah. Also, isn't my hairdo awesome? No, it's not. I it's super awesome. Look at that. Why would you ask me if you don't want to hear what I have to say? <laughs> 
supper knives. Because I wasn't asking you, I was asking chat. God. Chat agrees with me. Right, chat? Oh my god, a cutscene. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. Uh, I want to sell my shit How's first. The mood I'm going to do that. <laughs> Alright, I got my priorities. He's so rude. Oh, no. Something I've always They've wondered. stopped work for the day. What did you witchers do once <laughs> This is unacceptable. If only you could have gotten here faster. But ah, if only. So. Alright, armor. Let's talk, buddy. Mind your manners. Swords need thumping. Uh, mind your manners. Right oh! Mind your manners? <laughs> Excuse me. So you're back. Was right, wasn't I? Wouldn't shit. mind to look at your stock. I'm just gonna make sure that sell. They all seem to suck. So I should. No Excellent. Problems. Wait, wasn't that one horrible-looking armor or the pants better for you? I mean, the cool factor, though. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. There, are you happy? Uh, I mean, you're still at 60 out of 90 when it comes to- Yeah, I'm to... gonna go sell the other swords now. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just pointing it out. Yeah. So long. Look, I can run Need now. Ways, Drifter. Wow. Now Where's I'm the... free to see the world. Hmm. Maybe he just sleeps in. Yeah, Could he be. just slept in. That's fine. What a it lazy jerk. The weapon. Yeah. There's a tail behind every item I've got. What are you peddling? Isn't it very rude to ask someone what they're peddling? Yeah, kind of. Although this was olden days, so maybe it was okay then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. That's all the shit that I wanted to sell. Bye. Right. So long. All right, let's go see what that oh, buddy guy wanted. It. Wanted me to follow him. He's just been standing there for 12 hours waiting for me. I love it. This is the height of rudeness. I've been waiting for half a day. <laughs> you can't treat people like this. I'm sorry, Arnvald. Careful there. Guess we're gonna find I out. I have as much who's... right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you, cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Won't your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah. So you'll fight the Vilgards with me. Wonder who'll do better. You, or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Sarah. Yalmar's an idiot. Hey. Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Why, well, stubborn, fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, we're near twins in that regard. 
Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. All right, sweet. Wondered. There's a party. What do you I love it. Do once there are, no are you gonna kill everybody? Uh, only if they hit me first. That'll I'll kill them. One thing, but out fox in a hurry. No, that's a pretty friendly trophy. One by the gods. Let's get all this stuff. What am I looking for? <laughs> Do you have the right question? Oh, there's a little thing over here. Oh, there's a little thing over here. Yalmar, can you? Oh, seal shit. Seal shit? I'm using that. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vildkarls and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Sure. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish How long before you draw your balls? sword and like impale him? Uh, oh my god. Do you see that? Heard you're taking on yep. challengers in fist fights. <laughs> challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. Okay. Fuck. Here we go. We'll tear him apart. Well, how long are you gonna make oh, me God. wait? Punch harder. Yeah, I'm trying. Ah. You beg for this. You're forgetting the four D's. Dodge, dip, duck, and dodge. <laughs> oh god, I might actually end up dead in this one. No! Don't you dare lose. I might, I might, I might lose. Oh my god. No. No. Oh no. Ah, uh, no. Oh, watch your eh? You fight more like a little bitch. Get out of my sight, drifter. I want to try this again. I don't want to give up my sword. God damn it. <laughs> Not so tough without your blade, which is too bad, because you just lost it. Uh, I'm just gonna pay it. I'm, I like Listen, that sword too much. How about I give you the equivalent in Oh my god, you're sword. so li all, Oh no. You can't really earn a living without it. Shouldn't have bet it then. But, fine. Owe oh, you that much for old time's sake. Pay up and keep it. As soon as the moon strikes me. <sighs> Larry, this is not one of your finest moments. No, it's, it's, it's really not. Respect, Witcher. I feel a lot of shame. Heard you're taking yeah. on challengers and fist to go fights. around. Challengers. I'm trying again. We're here to hit. Trying again. Let's do this. How many times are you gonna Gladly. lose your sword tonight? Oh no, no, I only lost it the once. I've only bet it the once. Okay. Okay, I, I, am, I only just learned how to start dodging today, so I gotta practice that a bit. How can that possibly be true? You've been playing this game, haven't you been dodging before? No, I've been rolling. Oh my god. Ah! God. Mega Masha, yay! I can't get the hang of it. Jesus. <laughs> this is so hard. Get up, Brack. Get up, you bum. Mega <laughs> 
Oh my god, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm no. sucking even worse Tear now. Giving me no choice. Like, I just... Uh... Okay, fine. Oh, I can admit when I'm right? beat. No, do it again. No. You can't make me. <sighs> I am going to press the shame button again. One thing. Five a hind. Now that's a feat. I Only one chosen tell. by the gods could accomplish such a thing. Alright, what's happening? Venture, no. She's dear to the gods. All right, let's see if there's actually a quest that I'm supposed to accomplish here. Yeah, all right. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote'll turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on Crate blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here, this bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Ooh. Beautiful craftsmanship. It has a bauble. Thanks. Looks like a sword. I'm the one. Yeah. Hear that? Damn it. Yalmar's probably started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go.
Oh shit. Oh my god. What? Oh god. At least you can use your sword for There's this one. There's two? They're getting out of hand. Why are there so many bears? Is it too many to bear? Uh huh. Thank you. Oh my god, there's so, a third. What the fuck? You know, this is exactly what happened at my last party. Things were going well, then a bunch of bears show up. <laughs> it just was unbearable. Ha! That's my joke that you stole, but I stole from someone else. Yep. Why? Why? Bears. Also, what happened to all the tables? Maybe the tables were turned. <laughs> cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Duh. You're wearing a fur suit, man. Duh. Just use that. <laughs> Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. How did you know you didn't check it for pulse? Crack! <laughs> Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos. And now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime. I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. I want people to just start calling me Wolf. Sure thing, Wolf. Ever see anything yeah. like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankards on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. 
Maybe someone saw more than I did. Which are senses? Hey, Larry. Who, hey, what? Long ago, the party lived together in harmony. How'd they get in? But everything changed when the bears attacked. When the bears attacked. Sorry, this is a somber moment. What do we have here? Yes, it it truly is. Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Ooh, weird. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. I think they're were bears. Need. I think they are were bears. Something else, something earthy. Bears like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Why, this isn't a bear at all. It's just Old a mask. Star. Looks like it was sutured. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling witchers. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Okay, so we know that these people were sort of poisoned. All the horns are empty. This is interesting. Don't you just hate it, it when you go to a party and just like Bodies find out massacred. that you're turned into a bear? Hard to tell who it is. If Stand I go to a party and that happens, then yes. Yeah. I'd need to be invited to a party first, though. And... Aw. <sighs> Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. bunch of dead bodies around here. Some random minion says, gotta love it when we're off this play detective marks, like fantasy broken films. bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Do you ever play LA Noir? I'm actually in the middle of playing it right now. Really? Yeah. Ugh. Why? What? Ugh. No, it would made a good stream. Uh, yeah, but I really wanted to start it. Square. Doubt. <laughs> uh, I'm on Xbox, so there's no squares. Or... Gross. You're. Shut up. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. We gotta follow the smell. Love it. I'm actually super bad at L.A. Noir. Yeah? Yeah, I never know when I'm supposed to doubt or tell people that they're lying. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Oh, right. I think I started a quest line with a druid, but I kind of forgot about it. That would fit. A disgrace. I mean, it certainly I would. Freyr, our mother, may the sea swallow the traitors. 
Freer, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrom were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Erdelrick tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Erdelrick needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. Some clues there. Oh, yeah, don't you know about Cracky? <laughs> Whoa, we're we door. must find the traitors quickly. The Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Crack openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Yeah, don't you just hate it when you don't have any of those good civil wars? Just those like really sad, pathetic Maybe civil be wars. It was all There's nothing calm. I hate more than a Funny. lame civil war. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's got to flow, but so does blood. Might say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. Sometimes, though, he just. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end, down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Right behind you. That's a relief. Yeah. If I light this on fire, do you think it'll explode? Only one way to find out. Alright. Lame. Well, that's disappointing. Super disappointing. This mead's clean. So just gotta go around sniffing barrels? Yep. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Oh, this now it explodes. Shit. The spirit! <laughs> There's another egg behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Uh, what causes the... Maybe fire? <laughs> Quick. Yeah, there we go. I did it. Yeah, good for you. We I know this isn't uh, the best time. He's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick I end. That. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Once. Ugh. Bygone days. Humming. Woo! Place I'm just gonna power. interrupt it's you. And, be. and uh, meditate for a second here. Ah, uh, Witcher. I was just talking to you. This is rude as shit. <laughs> Alright. 
And who wants to listen to a woman talk anyway? Huh. Not I me. Get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. I like this mystery. This is fun. I find it too scary. You're scared? Yep, Are you afraid that you'll turn into a bear? No, I'm afraid that we'll hear more women talking. Ah, too uh, much. Okay. <laughs> Let's look for tracks. Okay. Oh, look. Tracks. If I can... There we go. Huh. Someone walked through the mead. Follow them. Trail breaks off. He does have felt his clothing by something else to follow. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the He's servants. A that one. Let's go. Mm. Could it be a betrayal? Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. All right, now we're going racing? This is awesome. We got a high speed chase. Was there a chase. guy on Let's the go. horse? Yeah, there was. Okay, because I just saw a horse run by, and then Stop look, it's him. It. I'm like, wait, the horse did? I'm way really when lost I get now. My hands on him. How do I? Fine. You don't stand a chance. Way to see about that. Ah, come on. Come on. Pull over. Pull over. <laughs> Come on, Roach. Uh, we got a suspect on a brown horse moving south, southwest on the. Come take a gander. On the main road Shit, there. They're the only one, so you can't miss them. Suspect is hatless. Repeat hatless. Why do you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No on crit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar on vault. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I think this is not going to work. What could possibly go wrong? I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Saris on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boon of bronze. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. 
Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cerys and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Uncreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the meat. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damned castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother! The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crete. And you, Berna Brown. He's gonna fall off that. I sentence to death. He's gonna fall off. I you know, will be chained her. to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst. And see far she's will gonna peck apart your remains. Lame, I wanted to see your jump. Ah. Well, good work, Phelps. <laughs> We're gonna get a homicide. Closed. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. Mm. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. <laughs> Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Sure. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. All right. Let's see who becomes the new King of Skellige. Or Queen. Weren't long ago, who are you voting for? We gave King there Bran is. back to the sea. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Yay! Let us swear her fealty. Woo. Uh. 
I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Ooh, Lugos is pissy. What a dick. Yeah, fuck that guy. Cool. Well, that's fun. A woman in politics? Ah, it's a bold move. We'll see if it works out for him. Uh, or her. Well, we class. Yeah. Speaking of elections, did you vote in the midterms earlier this week? No. Like, Move it. Because we're Canadian. Yeah, I know. It just seemed like a good segue <laughs> and I had nothing to say about it. Yeah. But I did vote in my uh, provincial referendum. Ooh, what was the referendum about? Uh, whether or not the provincial government would be switching to proportional representation or staying with the, oh, yeah. the post thing. That's that's just as interesting. Let's talk about that. Yeah, no, I don't want to actually talk about it. I'm just letting you know that that was, existed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what's your quest right now? Uh, I'm going to go meet Yennefer on Hindersfjall. Alrighty. What does she want? Uh, help me find Siri, so. Oh, okay. Whoa, there's a Faster. cliff there. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. Is it voice activated, that horse? Uh, I think it must be. Ooh, there's a cave? Shit, I'm going in here. Canadia says, it's about time you work towards finding Siri again, as you immediately went into this cave you just stumbled across. Yeah, but there's probably not going to be anything super cool here. Yes, there's not. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, my game is super buggy today. Insane. That's odd. Yeah. Maybe Mercury is in retrograde. Um, uh, maybe. This is astrology maybe. based, right? I, I don't think so. Oh, well, then I'm out of ideas. Hmm. Oh, shit. It's some sort of land monster. There was a different monster here that I slayed earlier. Blue, Larissa, slew. <sighs> ha! See, because this is already gone. I already looted this place. What are you going to do with your fancy Cyclops eye? Uh, probably just keep it forever. Okay. Just keep an eye on you. Haha. Uh -huh. yep. That was good. Fuck you. That was good. Disputing that. Yeah, but Let's you go. laughed way harder at way shittier puns. Uh. Yeah. So you don't deny it. <laughs> Guards, seize her! Yeah. We'll tie you to a rock, not give you food or nor water for three days. And the things will peck at your innards. I can't remember the context, but I want to start using that Land of Heroes line a lot. Hey Mark, can yeah. I have a club soda? Why, of course! This is the Land of Heroes! <laughs> for a second and you're back to killing stuff. Well, this is a hack and slasher game, right? All right. The wind says that's a good accent you got there. Although he might have been talking to me. Move it. In fact, I think he was, so ignore that compliment. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. How do I get down from here? God. Yeah, get off your high horse. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just, just want to get down to the beach. Yeah, just relax for a bit. Yeah, have a mimosa. Yeah. Look, a boat! 
Get it. Oh, it's the wheel graveyard. Ooh. Oh, someone's dying. It does seem full of. I was gonna say bandits, but like ah. of merman. Yeah, bad people. Who are you and where are you screaming? Well, he's not screaming anymore, so whatever. Another job well done. Yeah. Not so fast, Roach. Well, now he's still screaming. Where are you? Eh, whatever. One of those tents, maybe? Oh. Probably a trap for these bandits. Some good dodging, I guess. Ha! I got a glory kill. Ooh, nice. Oh, Beecher Davis is telling me to check the map. I don't know. I don't really see anything. I mean, I think it's a trap. Noise? What's that? Did you just make the Roadrunner noise? Meep, meep. Yeah, that was weird. Can you block arrows with your sword? I doubt it. You could in this one Lord of the Rings game, and it was super cool. Cool, two Not for one. Good. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Canadia says you can eventually block arrows with the skills. So you should get that. That seems cool. That does seem cool. Then Gibraltar says that's not possible, so I don't know. I'm also taking a rope ladder because you never know when you're going to need a rope ladder. In scaling cliffs, maybe. Exactly. It might stop me from falling off them all the time. Yeah. But do we want to live in that world, if we're being honest? I mean, oh shit, I needed the boat. Forgot about the boat. But no, I don't think that you would want to live in that world. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I don't know if I have a whole lot of choice there, so. I will not deny that it's entertaining. Yeah. A cliff in one of your streams is like Chekhov's gun. <laughs> yeah, I have to fall off of it. Yeah. All right, let's sail away. Activate the motor. That's how it That's works, a nice right? Sound. Thank you. My goal is to start this quest line before the stream is over, but I can't make any promises. Yeah. Where are you headed? Uh, to meet Yennefer on Hindersjal. Okay. Anytime I see a name like Hindersfjall where there's a J in it, I'm reminded, I'm taken back to when I was in Iceland. My, my favorite memory of Iceland, though, was when I had a peanut butter and jelly burger. That's gross. It was awesome. It was truly delicious. How can you get to go everywhere? Um, because I'm lucky? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Let me ask a question I know the answer to. Have you seen Troll Hunter? <laughs> nope. Uh, also, thanks to Dresmodus for the bits. Apparently, Twitch is being messed up for him, so he's headed out, but uh, he'll see us tomorrow for Stellaris and Victor. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for trying. <laughs> He also finds it concerning how sexy Gerald's muscle... But okay, whatever, we're fine here. I don't need to read the rest of that. <laughs> Alright. Let's go get even more... Yeah. Bye. 
How are you not, like, freezing to death immediately? Because I'm a witcher, bitch. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, I got a master crafted saddle? A little waterlogged, perhaps, but probably still good. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, all right. Get out of here. You're having bad luck with these harpies, man. Yeah, they're just the worst. What type of perfume is Geralt wearing? Uh, it's musk. Mm. Does that attract harpies? Well, it's attractive, so it must work on harpies. Okay. Elik Hindersfjall. Ah, uh, yes, I know it well. It reminds God. me of my time in Iceland when I ate a <laughs> peanut butter jelly hot dog. It was a burger, excuse me? Yeah, but when I went, it was a hot dog. It's really good, though. Ah. Go oh, ahead, kittenas. Nobody likes you. another boat and I didn't break this one at all I'm so proud of you thank you although your condescension's a little unnecessary I wasn't being okay fine <laughs> greetings Yen good thing you're here the frostbite was starting to set in Woo. old shoulder had a matter to tend to a matter that brooked no delay, I presume. What was it? A Necker contract? Something like that. Can we go? <laughs> Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. I mean, she's right the there. Early sprouted whiskers, yet in the grind they laugh. And Please. me, Son living of an Perished in glory. Ah. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption. But we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name, but I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know, saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables, with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am 
I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. Curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing. Provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds, but so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Alright, I guess I'll cut myself in uh -oh. front of a tree. <laughs> I need to get my, my sword is, fixed. Who or what is Morkvarg? Uh, Morkvarg is a person who was cursed. Okay, so does that jerk, that's who we, that Morkvarg was? It's a jerk. He was the one who okay. was killing all the pregnant women. Right, taking gold from Nilfgaard. Yeah, that jerk. Oh, okay. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could oh, stand to be nicer there's, sometimes. There's hey, a monster. Oh, get it. Come back. Yeah. Oops, that was the wrong thing. Ah. Okay, wait. I have a I have a thing for this. I remember there's an oil. I love it. I love charging into battle and being like, oh wait, I got something for this. <laughs> Shit, where'd wait, I put it? Just hold on a second. Let's just let me let me just like check my bag, okay? I think it's necrophage oil. Shit, I need to check my hold on, let me check my encyclopedia. <laughs> this is unprofessional. I'm here. I know, Can I you know. just get this going? I'm sorry, just like give me a s I'm I'm new to all this. Um, Follow your soul as soon as you're ready. Spectre oil. See, I, I would have got it wrong, so I'm glad I checked. I have to say, this doesn't seem quite fair. No, it, it's it's fair. It's just... You know, because you're just so much stronger than me. Blah! <laughs> There we go. Boom. My only regret is giving you enough time to prepare all your stuff to kill me. 
I mean, I feel like that's a good thing to regret. Maybe I should fix my sword real quick. I think I should voice the monsters more. You did pretty good. Pretty well. Oh look, you got a bunch of swords. Yeah. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Oh, she's heard about Triss. She's salty. Ooh. If I know one thing about love, it's, uh... That's, uh... That's, that's a tricky, tricky situation for everybody. My, my. Yeah? That must be more cog. I run a romance column, so I'm pretty knowledgeable about this. Right. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. <laughs> Very sick. Ugh. Sick as a dog, you might say. <laughs> he doesn't seem happy. That was to a fake laugh. I can tell. Wait till he gets no, he wasn't totally. Me. Yeah, so it was partly fake. Yeah. So, where should we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. I'm just gonna light all the things. It's gonna get dark soon. Actually, oh, no, it creates dark. an atmosphere. I get it. It's important to have the appropriate lighting. Yeah. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. What is this Fine. scene? We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Go already. <laughs> She's brazen. Hell hath no fury like some pissed off dame. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Something enough. Something down there. Can't yeah. see a thing. Craven's blood flowing profusely. Trail's clear. Should lead me to him. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Something down there. Yeah, Can't see a thing. That. All right. So I'm probably gonna have to fight Morgvarg. We're just a wolf. No bite marks. Morkvark doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking Is around. Like ever attacked. yelled in this game? Not really loud. Like he'll talk loud, but not yelling. He's always just kind of like muttering to himself. Like it doesn't matter how you know loud the party is or how far away you're in. Craven's blood. Craven was injured. Started running.
Oh, Marx. Craven slammed the door in Morkvarg's face. Did you find something? A trail leads right to a door locked door. Door budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. All right. Go around. Ugh. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably this way, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. No? Yeah, you shouldn't have gone that way. I, I wanted to say something, but, you know. I, you know, you, you really could say something, and it'd make my life a lot easier. No, no. You gotta learn these things on your own. Uh... Wait, is it just... I have a confused. Well, the, the circle things on the, on the map seems to be somewhere else. Hmm. Where do I go? How does how anybody get anything game? done? What? Uh, can you learn how to pick locks in this game? Not that I'm aware of. So this isn't Skyrim. Correct. I can see how you would confuse them, but it is not. Oh, they both got magic and witchers. Mm, no, only the witcher has witchers. You sure? Yeah. Well, both have the wild hunt. No. Oh. Well, I mean, Siri's in both, though, right? No. Okay, well, I don't know what I've been talking about then. Yeah, I don't know what you've been talking about either. confused all I can tell you is that the gold circle on the map is somewhere else and you're outside of it yeah but it's behind this door oh, that's what Marks. it's looking for Craven then, slammed the door then, uh, in the face. use your jetpack or We tried knocking it down with mind powers. No, it's, he specifically said I've got to go. Oh, you should go around it then. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, but try better. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just climb some cliffs. That'll fix it. <laughs> I like where that's going. <laughs> Find the tallest cliff you can, and then climb it. And now I'm completely outside this castle thing. Ugh. Oh no, I'm trapped in a moat. Oh no. I might be totally stuck here. No, it's fine. It's fine. I, I'm not totally stuck. Fine. Defeated by, again by our arch nemesis, Cliff. <laughs> yeah, sheer rock face. Okay. Hmm. Well, the white dots are telling you to take a right. Yeah. But then that just leads me to this, like, wood wall that has no entry point. Can you climb the, uh, the, the thing on the side of the house there? Oh, the awning? I 
Yeah, I didn't know it wasn't. That's an awning. Yeah. I bet you can climb that awning. I don't think I can. No, he can't jump that high. Shit. He's yeah. a little bitch. Whoa. What about the door? Someone's saying there's a door. Biko Delva says there's a door on that side under the awning. Ooh. No, there wasn't, but here's something new. Did you just blow this cage wide open? I might have. I might have. The wolf did it. Oh, okay, maybe not. No. Okay, I'm making some progress. Can't ah! cross that. Cutscene. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism okay. looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Sluice gate. Such a lovely word. Sluice? You know what's a better word? Phrase? What? Cellar door. Ugh, again? <laughs> again? Last time you said I never talked about that, when I talked about it all the time. Yeah, I was using what's called sarcasm. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't know what I'm doing. That I believe. <laughs> what a shock. Oh, there it is. There's a sluice near the hoose. Not the hoose, the sluice. I'm trying to accomplish here. Like in general or in this moment? In this moment, although also in general would apply. Yeah, I agree with you on both. Frickin' sluice gates. Sluice? Don't bring me down! Sluice! Who's that? Oh, I Don't get bring it. me down! There we go. There we go. I figured it out. See? Have we accomplished anything with this? Uh, I accomplished the goal. I'm inside the garden. Repeat, inside the garden, there are no hats. A new personal best. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Morkfrog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. Sure. If I have to, I'm Once all ears. Upon a time. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain uh, and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? <laughs> you don't understand. <gasps> this was more. Uh, my mouth burned uh, like 
following fire. For all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. I really don't know how with this guy. And then... <laughs> I shredded them, dashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. Uh. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. <sighs> the moral is... <sighs> You cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. I'll break any fetters. The curse. Free me. Or I'll return to get you again. Okay. Guess we're fighting this guy. Diplomacy has failed, like always. <laughs> now he's he's fine. Willing to talk now. Only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle uh, till I drop. Uh, uh, You've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Hmm. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. It's the Anything worst. I devour. I'm so over ash. it. Ash. I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible. Ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat. Throat. Like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. You know what? I think I'm gonna help the poor guy. See what I can wow. do. Wow. Because I understand See the kind of hunger he's talking do. about. Actually, that's very true. Return. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, usually after uh, each stream, you're reciting this guy's speech word for word. Yeah, usually in case of I'm hungry. Ugh. Yep. I'm gonna give him some, not my ham sandwich. Do I have any raw meat? <laughs> not my ham sandwich. <laughs> Don't take my ham sandwich, monster. Oh, no, not my, no. You don't get my nuts. Let's so see if we almost can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 
this shite again! <laughs> Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems... <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> Those who come... <laughs> rarely introduce themselves. <laughs> what did he look like? <laughs> no idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. Uh, true treasure. Uh, hid away. Just help me! Ugh. Hey, how do I break the curse? You could kill him. Yeah, but then he'll just come back. That's not breaking uh, the curse. I'm out of ideas. Farewell. See you soon. I'm gonna find out how to break that curse because yeah that everlasting hunger it's the worst also lycanthropy <laughs> but mostly the hunger that's like struck a real common chord with you yeah it was pretty impactful that could have been me it could have been you know what after after uh the stream here i'm gonna make myself some risotto Ooh. I know I'm gonna be hungry. Want it turned to ash? It might. Mark, Mark, that's a risk I have to take. Door. Must have smelled something that's beyond so it. Explore stuff. Okay. Need the key. Rude. Mark, where did you hide that key? Which one? The key to get the door. Oh, um, it's in the uh, shit. You know that little console table I have when, like, immediately when you enter my place, it's like below the. Mm. What is it drawer there? Blood. All the keys are in there. Hmm. I don't know. Although, if you're like me, you just use a smart lock. In which case, you're gonna lock it with your phone. So. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. So there's a cave here too? Jesus. One of yes, Freya's priestesses. No signs of violence. Must have died of hunger a while ago. Must have hid here when Morkvar raided the garden. A key could come in handy. Very nice. I like having keys. Claw marks. Craven slammed the door in Morkvarg's face. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. 
Yen, found it. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Yen, there's no point. There's no point in discussing this through a grate. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I think you made the right choice for me. Yeah, she's kind of a little too sassy. Yeah. Oof. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made <laughs> to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy Whoa. was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Ciri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. I'm not poking holes, just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Given them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Ciri is short on time. Hmm. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. <laughs> Doesn't sound like real magic, does it? No. Are you craven of Lofferton? No, I have I am Oh, okay. You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman, ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She, she's cursed me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak. No. Speak. Speak! She fell oh, almost drowned! Mind if I drop in? <laughs> Don't stare. Help me. 
Help us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where... where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. And where is he? My... friend? Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on! All right. Man in the mask. I think we're gonna call it here for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for joining us here on FYIF. But if you're not done with us yet, you can catch us tomorrow for Stellaris Invicta, that's at 2 p.m. Mountain Time tomorrow. You excited about that, Mark? Yes, I am. Hopefully by then I'll have the sick sweated out of me. Yeah, you just gotta get that sick sweated out. Uh, <laughs> that's a good phrase. <laughs> yeah. Um, otherwise, you can catch us on Wild Card Wednesdays, which is on Guess What Wednesday. Um, that'll be at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And then we're back for FYIF on Friday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. I'll, I'll miss you guys. Uh, but otherwise, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.